Another one of my fantasies is someday, of course, you know, get married, settle down, have like five to seven children with a woman that will, you know, have kids with me. And, uh, you know, most of the time the women get the pick on the first four or five names, and I'll let her have that. But I'm going to take over when we get to like the fifth name. So we like get in there in the intros, and it's going to be like, yeah, this is Samantha, Jonathan, Emily, and Michael, and Dracula. <laughs> And that's gonna be my son, the fifth Dracula. Because there's such a vamp complex going on, vampires are in, I say, you know, forget about it, I'm just gonna name him Dracula. Can you imagine those dinner conversations? Just like, you know, John, why can't you be more like your brother Dracula? I mean, 4.0 student, you're, you're slacking, he's a varsity player, he's gonna go to medical school, probably be a hematologist going to blood. Be more like Drac, I swear to God. He'll be the other team, I guarantee it. Um, let me think here. You know, another thing, this is kind of a messed up joke, so I'm going to demo it on you. You know people that have really weird last names, and you don't, like, think about it? You know, like, oh, his last name's Cop, and it sounds like Cop. Like, that's not that crazy, right? What about the last name Rape? Wouldn't that be a really messed up last name? You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, did you guys get the Rape family Christmas card? It's like, oh, the Rape family. Oh, it's amazing. God, they're just, they're just debutantes. Now, are you guys going to the rape Christmas party this year? It's like, I missed it. I missed it. God, Mark Rape is just the nicest guy around the office. It just sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, I gotta fight the feedback. I'm gonna go over towards Matt. Hold on. This thing is hindering me from doing my comedy dance, which is this, back and forth the whole time. And then I go back for hydration. <laughs>